Good morning, Friendship United Methodist Church family. God bless you, visitors and friends. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of our lives. First, last, the beginning, the end. We thank you for joining us for worship this morning. Come on, let's do what we are accustomed to. Put those hands together and let us praise the Lord. Come on, hallelujah, praise him, praise him, praise him. Do we have any worshipers here? Do we have any worshipers here this morning? Hallelujah, come on, praise him. Glory, hallelujah. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. He is worthy, 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 worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus. Everyone join in with me. Yes, Jesus, he loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, he does, saints of God. Together. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he loves you, saints of God. Yes, loves me. Yes, yes. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Amen, somebody. At this time, we will be led in prayer by Minister Sherman Green. And after the reading, after the prayer, we will have the reading of the scripture. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many came to the service during the day? Hallelujah. Looking for God to give them a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ask that you pray for the Brown family in King Street. Uh, so my cousin, they lost their father on yesterday. And I ask that you pray for the Brown family on the Neesmith Highway. Pray for Ms. Brown, that God will. Heal her body, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes. But how many know that God is a provider, a healer, right. and a deliverer, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Life is short, hallelujah. Yes. That's why we have to give God some praise, hallelujah. We don't know when that time will come, hallelujah. That's right. That's right. But if you send up your timber, hallelujah, mm -hmm. when that time come, hallelujah, you will enter into a gate with thanksgiving, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning, yes. closing our right mind, yes. giving us life, breath, and strength to see another day, hallelujah. Lord, you could allow us to went on to the other side, hallelujah. But because of your grace and your mercy, you spared our life, hallelujah. 
Father, we ask that you bless the man of God to surrender a realm of word from on high. Hallelujah. God, we ask that you allow the choir to sing under the Zion, uplifting song. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we ask that you bless the musician to play under the anointing. Hallelujah. Father, we ask that you bless each and every one in the parking lot on friendship on this morning. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, somebody need a healing. Thank you, Lord. Somebody need to be delivered, hallelujah. Somebody need to be set free. Somebody was going on a struggle on this week, hallelujah. Didn't know how they could pay their bill right now. But God work it out, hallelujah. Father, I ask that you bless my wife and my family, hallelujah. Even continue to strengthen me right now where I'm weak, hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you right now, God. God, we believe in you right now for a high time on the day. Hallelujah. Even though it's hot, hallelujah, but we can set up the praise right now. Because you say when praises go up, blessing come down, hallelujah. Honk your horn if you love him today, hallelujah. Tell God you love him. Stand outside your car and give God some praise, hallelujah. That's why I love him, hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Honk your horn and tell him you love him. if you will turn with me to the gospel of John the gospel of John chapter 21 praise God the gospel of John chapter 21 I will begin reading at the very first Verse. Hear what it says, the new revised King James Version. Breakfast by the sea. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to his disciples at the sea of Tiberias. And in this way, he showed himself Simon Peter Thomas called the twin Nathaniel of Canaan in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, we are going with you also. They went out and immediately got into the boat. And that night they caught nothing. But when the morning had now come, Jesus stood on the shore. Yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, children, have you any food? They answered him, no. And he said to them, cast the net on the right side of the boat you will find some. So they cast, and now they were not able to draw it in because of the multitude of fish. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garment, for he had removed it, and plunged it into the sea. But the other disciples came in the little boat, but they were not far from the land, but about 200 cubits, dragging the net with fish. Then as soon as they had come to the land, uh, they saw a fire of coals and fish laid on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish which you have just caught. Simon Peter went up and dragged the net to land full of large fish, 
153. And although there were so many, the net was not broken. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus, Jesus said to them, come eat breakfast. <laughs> Yet none of the disciples dare ask, who are you? Knowing that it was the Lord. Jesus then came and took the bread and gave it to them, and likewise the fish. This is now the third time Jesus showed himself to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Come on, let's give God a praise for America. Come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. At this time, we will hear from Sister Crystal Salter. She will bring before us the announcement for today. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Here are your morning announcements for April the 11th, 2021. To the pastor and members of Friendship United Methodist Church, join us as we celebrate Family and Friends Day on May 2nd, 2021 at 10 o'clock a.m. The speaker will be our very own Reverend Franklin Frank V. James. All adult members are asked to pay $75.00. All children and youth are asked to pay $20. Please invite your family and friends to come out and worship with us on the, on the first Sunday. Envelopes are available today. Please see Ms. Sarah P. Scott and other designated persons. Pastor James are asking our chairpersons to finalize their programs for May and June. Please inform chairpersons of Council, Council on Ministry in regards to your programs for the months of May and June so that they can be successful. Yes, yes. Pastor Jane is asking everyone to please pay their $3 seed offering for the month of April on today. The offering was not taken up on last Sunday yes. due, to, due to it being Easter. Thank you in advance for your offering. Please pray, please pray for Janice Neesmith. She was admitted into the hospital in Florence on last night. Also, please don't forget to pray for the sick and shut-ins. Amen. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. As always, if you have any questions about today's announcements, please call me at 843-230-8539. This ends your morning announcements. Please have a blessed day and a blessed week. Praise Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Crystal, for those announcements. And saying to God, I just want to say, um, just want to reflect on a few of the announcements very quickly. Um, yes, the seed offering. Uh, this is a ministry that I have started years ago, and it has always forever worked. This money will be used for the good of the community and the church. I promise you. God has never misled me. He has never let one of my ministries down. So this is, I know that God is in the midst. So I pray to God that you will work with us today. Praise God. And at some point, I will reveal the vision that God has given me for the ministry. Uh, not only that, uh, thank you for your giving, your tithe and your offering. So today, we will take the seed and offerings first. Praise God. Pardon me. Pardon me. No, no. We will take the tithe and offerings first. Three dollars per person. And I promise you, this is going to be one of the best ministries. And not only that, saints of God, I pray that you will continue supporting Friendship United Methodist Church. God has given me a vision. And I need you to work with Pastor James. Uh, not 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 boasting, but you know, I believe in whatever the church asks for, Sister James and I 
we want to be the first. So it's no boast, but we're going to pay our $75 today. So uh, finance committee, you got what, 75 and 75 was 150? You got 150 already. I believe in doing what the church asked me to do. Saints, I need y'all to work with Pastor James. There is a vision ahead of us. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Let somebody say amen, amen. 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 And also, I believe in starting on time for our programs. One thing I've learned, if you wait to the last minute, <laughs> it may not work. I pray to God, saints of God, that you will think ahead. Be proactive. I am a proactive individual. I believe in organizing and planning before putting anything out there. So I pray. I got one witness over here. Thank you. Praise God. I pray that you will work with us. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will lift the offering, tithe and offerings. Uh, if you will, ushers, you may uh, prepare yourselves. And we will bless the offering after we have taken it up. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I'm going to ask the choir to give us something that we can, uh, uh, should I say, worship and praise God. And saints of God, I, I said to you a few weeks ago, seven things, seven things. I told you to write down. Let me tell you something. You can't beat God's giving. God is working on my list. I pray to God that he is working on your seven things. Let me tell you something. Think to God if you just line your heart up with God's heart. That's all you got to do. You're not going to be perfect. But God has called us to be righteous. Righteousness simply means doing what's right. Hello somebody. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Once you line your, your soul, your heart, your mind up with Jesus Christ, I promise you everything will work out in your favor. I know that's real. Thank you, Jesus. Queen, sing for us, choir. Yes, Lord. Oh, glory.
of thee, O Lord. for your giving heart. God bless of you. We pray your many blessings. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, let us hear from the Lord. Amen. Not from Pastor James, but let us hear from the Lord. God is good. All the time, God is good. Turn with me again to the Gospel of John, chapter 21. The Gospel of John, chapter 21. Praise God. <clears throat> it says, as I always say, never leave home without the word. Always keep the word close by. Yes. Or importantly, keep it in your heart. Yes, Lord. Put that Bible in your automobile. It will protect you. Take it to the workplace. Praise God. The Bible will keep the word, will keep those enemies away. That's right, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And saints, one thing about past, I love teaching God's word. Teaching makes a difference. That's a promise. Yes, I remember when I was a young man, uh, preachers would come through screaming and hollowing and didn't get anything out of the service. Not one thing. But see, when you open the word and when you see for yourself, oh God, that's when the word is manifested. That's when it, it takes root. And that's when it really blessed your life. You know, the devil doesn't want us to read the word. Satan will make you fall asleep every time. That's what he does. That's his job because he doesn't want you to read the word. But saints of God, you need your quiet time. Amen? Amen. Let me read for your hearing. Praise God. I'm just going to read the text only. Let us look at the uh, gospel of John chapter 21 verse 6. Praise God. This is the text. My God, my God, my God, my God. And saints of God, this passage is too much to preach in one message. So I'm going to give you part one this morning and then we'll give you part two next Sunday. But hear what that says the Lord. And he said to them, cast the net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. So they cast now they were not able to draw it in because of the multitude of fish. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. Saints of God, I want to use for a subject this morning. Something happens when Jesus shows up. <laughs> Come on, tell somebody something happens. When Jesus shows up. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you again for allowing us, oh God, to be alive this morning. Thank you, Lord, for lifting us out of bed this morning. Thank you, God, for clothing us. Thank you, Lord, for the breakfast that you provided for us. 
thank you, Lord, for bringing us to worship this morning. Thank you, Father God, for being in our midst right now as I speak. Thank you, Lord, for your forever presence. Lord, we thank you. God, I pray your people will hear the word this morning. Hide me behind your cross. Let Jesus be seen. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Saints of God, last Sunday we were blessed to have witnessed Easter, Resurrection Day. We thank God for Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God for the return of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh my God, my God, my God. How many of you have faith this morning? Yes. Praise God, praise God. I pray and trust that your faith is in Jesus. Yes, sir. How many of you believe that George Washington was the very first president of the United States of America? We weren't there, but by faith we believe. How many of you believe that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. died for our social justice? Some of us were there. Come on, somebody. And how many of you believe that Bar Praise God, thank you for your amens. How many of you believe that a black African-American man by the name of uh, 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 Ob uh, uh, Obama, yes, Barack Obama was the 44th president? That's right. yeah. We all were witnesses. Come on. Yes, I said we all were witnesses. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The choice is yours. You don't have to believe by faith. The choice is yours. Do you believe in the life, hear this, the life, crucifixion, burial, and resurrection of Jesus? Yes, Hold your hold if you believe. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what you say to God, but I believe in the resurrection story. Yes, I believe in Jesus coming back to life. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Now, according to our Christian faith, we, we, we don't have a choice. No, 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 saints. Believe us, we don't have a choice. Amen? Amen. We must believe yes, sir. without any doubt. Right. We must believe in the resurrected Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Failure to believe in the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our living is in vain. Yes, sir, Go ahead, preacher. You are just an existing object. That's, right. That's all you are. On, Don't feel bad. I used to be an existing object. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But thank God. I believe in Jesus the Christ. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What if Jesus had not been raised from the dead. The fact is, there will be no Christianity, no salvation, no future hope, no daily blessing, come on somebody, and no eternal life. There would be no healing. There would be no healing. But thank God for the resurrected Christ. And you don't say to God, had Jesus not come, we would be some miserable sinners. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for Jesus Christ. Amen. Believers, Jesus has made a way for our eternal life. Hell, yes, Lord, he has made a, a way for us. Yes, yes, he has made a way for us to, 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 to live again after this life is over. We also will be resurrected just like Christ. Oh, glory, what a good place to be in. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Amen. Jesus is back. He is in our midst this morning. Tell the other neighbor and say, neighbor. Something happens when Jesus shows up. <laughs> now, say to God, let me just walk you through 
the Gospel of John, chapter 21, leading up to the text, praise God, verses 1 through 4. Let me just summarize it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In this passage of Scripture, Jesus appears to the disciples while fishing. They were out fishing, and Jesus showed up. Simon Peter said to the other disciples, Brothers, I'm going fishing. Amen, somebody. Amen. And they all said, well, we, we going with you, Peter. We going along with you. So immediately they all got in the boat, praise God. And, and that night they caught nothing. Shame on the disciples. <laughs> they caught nothing. They told all night long. They caught nothing. But when morning had come, Jesus, somebody said Jesus. Jesus. Jesus stood on the shore. Yet the disciples did not recognize him. I guess because of the fog. I guess because it was the break of dawn. They just could not make him out. Amen. But Jesus said to them, children, have you any food? <laughs> my God, my God. I believe if Jesus were to come now and work the same miracle, some of us would not believe. If Jesus were to show up on Myrtle Beach, on the sand, and, and say, everybody come, you were invited to breakfast. Oh my God, my God, my God. Let somebody say, thank you, Jesus. The saints of God, the text is taken from the 6th verse, John chapter 21, verse 6. Hear this. Thank you, Jesus. Now, when... And Jesus said to them... Now, who is them? The disciples. The 6th verse. And Jesus said to them... He was speaking to the disciples. Jesus said, cast the net on the right side... On the boat. Yes, sir. <laughs> Listen, saints. The right side of the boat. The right side of the boat. Not the wrong side. Hello, somebody. But the right side of the boat. Can I get a witness, somebody? There, there is something. There is something about the right side. There is something about the right side. Also, Jesus is using an analogy here. He is teaching his disciples that if they preach the truth, if they preach the gospel, if they preach the true gospel, they will catch and bring many lost souls to Christ. Can I get a witness right there? Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's something about that right side. Jesus is right now seated at the right hand of the Father. Not only that, saints of God, when you enter a courtroom, what does the judge say to you? Raise your right hand. Can I get a witness, somebody? Oh, y'all, I'm talking to somebody here now. Thank you, Jesus. There's a message here for all of us. The phrase, and you will find some. You will find what? Fish. When we preach the gospel, we will find lost souls. Something happens when Jesus shows up. Now the second half of the text, praise God, tells us. Hear what it says. So they cast. And now they were not able to draw it in. Because of the multitude of fish. Did you hear that? <laughs> you see, the disciples could not do it. They tried, but they could not do it. They didn't even catch one fish. So because Jesus came back, he wanted to really work another miracle in their presence so they will fully believe. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now hear this. The disciples obeyed his order and direction as faithful ministers in America occurred 
Saints of God, when you live in obedience, something happened. Yes, Can I get a witness, somebody? When you live in obedience, something good takes place. Can I get a witness? Look at your neighbor and neighbor. Jesus is still here. He is still working miracles. Tell the other neighbors and neighbor, something happens. When Jesus shows up, come on, give the Lord some praise right there. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Saints of God, this is too much to preach today. I ask God to just govern me today because I don't want to miss a point here. I will give you part two on next Sunday. Amen, somebody? But allow me to place a comma right here until we meet again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I come this morning to preach the truth about Jesus Christ. The word of God is truth. It is a net. It is a net that is designed, oh God, to bring lost souls to Christ. I don't know who I'm talking to. But thank God for the word. In other words, I'm living and standing on the right side of the gospel. It doesn't matter what nobody says. For years I lived on the wrong side of the gospel. But I'm so glad this morning. Thank you, Jesus, uh, that I'm on the right side now. Somebody ought to say thank you, Jesus. You ought to wave your hand if you know that you're on the right side of the gospel. Uh, thank you, Jesus. The disciples uh, went fishing one night uh, and they caught nothing. They caught nothing. Uh, but when they obey the voice of Jesus, somebody ought to obey the voice of Jesus. They hauled in a multitude of fish. Can I get a witness, somebody? The net is on the right side this morning. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm preaching to. But the net is on the right side. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to yield to the voice of Jesus. Something happens when Jesus shows up. Thank you, Jesus. Something happens when he shows up in your life. Thank you, Jesus. You will never be the same. You will never walk the same. You will never talk the same. Those places that you used to go, you don't go no more. Those people that you once had a hateful heart for, you will love them in spite of. Can I get a witness, somebody here? I'm talking to somebody here. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. Something happens when Jesus shows up. I pray that he will show up in your heart, not just in your surroundings. I don't want you to just hear about him, but I want you to receive him in your heart. Thank you, Jesus. When Jesus shows up, something happens. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, when you call the name Jesus, you got a doctor, you got a friend, you got a lawyer, thank you Jesus, when you call on the name Jesus, he will fix it for you, Jesus is still working miracles today, yes he is, he is still healing the sick, he is still bringing the dead back. Jesus is still working miracles. I believe I'm talking to somebody here. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty good God we serve. Thank you, Lord. He is your, your friend. He will stick closer than a friend. He is your everything. Jesus will show up in your home. 
will show up in your family. Yes, he will. He will show up in your sons. He will show up in your daughters. He will show up in your husband. He will show up in your wife. He is still working miracles. Miracles of salvation. He is still saving the lost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus is still working miracles something happens when he shows up thank you Jesus if you need a healing he will show up if you need deliverance he'll show up if you need a promotion he'll show up whatever you need this morning Jesus will show up can I get a witness somebody there's a cliche that says he may not come when you want him, but he's right on time. I you find that to be true? Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes Jesus will let you go through some trials and tribulations just to get your attention. When he gets your attention, he'll show up and he will show out. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to. Look at your neighbor. It's a neighbor. Something happens when Jesus shows up. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. You ought to wave your hand. You ought to say, thank you, Jesus. I'm still here in spite of COVID-19. I'm still alive. I'm still walking the surface. I'm still talking. I'm still speaking. Thank you, Jesus. I've got my health and my strength. I can still recognize family members. I can still recognize the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Sing for us, choir. Whatever the Lord puts on your heart. Hallelujah. Something happens when Jesus shows up. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, God. God, you've been so good to us. I'm so glad. Oh, yes. You died for me. I'm so glad Come on, sister, sing it. You shed your blood Come on, sister, just for me Just for me I'm so glad You rose For me Listen
saints of God, I know it's hot, but I believe Jesus deserves your feet standing on solid ground. Get out your cars right about now and stand by your doors. God has been too good to you, saints. Saints of God, I said God has been too good to you. God has brought you from a mighty long ways. And he is still carrying you. You ought to just stand up and come on, let's worship God. Lift those hands up. Sing to us, choir.
somebody going through a sickness right now in their body. The doctor tell them they can't do it no more. Hallelujah. But I believe right now that God's going to heal your body right now. Wherever you at, stand and raise your hand. Hallelujah. I declare healing in your body right now. I declare financial healing right now. Oh God. I command your bills being paid right now. Oh God. Even work on your children and grandchildren right now. I believe in the Spirit going to bring them on the streets right now, God. Oh God. Whatever you're struggling with on the day. I pray that you give it to Jesus right now. Hallelujah. He the only one can heal it right now. He, can, he the only one can deliver your child right now. Somebody incarcerated on this morning right now. Wondering how they going to get out. Hallelujah. But I hear the Spirit saying, release. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you right now. Father, we thank you for the man of God. We thank you for the choir singing so good, hallelujah. We thank you for the musician right now for playing so faithfully, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for all the friendship members coming out so faithfully. Give your hand a hand clap, hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you for blessing friendship right now, God. Bring us closer right now. Draw us near right now, hallelujah. We've been divided too long, hallelujah. It's time for us to come up right now. I declare right now that we shall come up in unity right now. Every service should be blessed right now. I see people getting healed. I see people getting delivered, hallelujah. I see people getting blessed right now. Oh God, we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and tell God hallelujah. Open your mouth and tell him hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yes, God. What an awesome God we serve. Saints of God, as I sat there, the Spirit said to me to tell you all to don't be afraid to take your vaccination. God said, go right ahead and take your, your shot. He got you. One thing about God, He would, thank you, thank you, thank you, He would have not given man scientists, the wisdom, the chemistry to put it into a vaccination for coronavirus. So God is in control. Come on, don't, don't be afraid. Trust God. Don't trust the vaccination, but trust God. Amen, somebody? Amen, amen. We have come now to the close of this worship service. Do we have any visitors with us? Just wave your hand and see who you are. Any visitors? Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Friendship, repeat after me. Visitors. We love you. We love you. Please come again. Please come again. Amen. 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 Let us receive the benediction. Put your hands together for this wonderful choir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for our musicians. The saints of God. If you love the person standing beside you, even if they are in distance, just turn to them and say, neighbor, I love you. Say it loud as you can. Turn to the other neighbor and say, neighbor. 
I love you. Hallelujah. Let us receive the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the maker and founder of this life, the author and finisher of our faith, the first, the last, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, may God be with you until we fellowship again. May the Lord drive you in the spirit. May he protect you from all harm and danger. May the Lord be your mouthpiece this week. Give it in your words, your language. In his name we pray. Let us all sing together. Praise God. with you.